For this question, it says that the braking distance of a car is directly proportional to the square of its speed. When the speed is v meters per second, the braking distance is 20 meters. Part A, when the speed is reduced by 40%, find an expression for the speed of the car in terms of v. If the initial speed is v meters per second, and the speed has been reduced by 40%, the speed of the car is now 60%. So 60% of V can be expressed as 60 over 100 times V, which gives us 3 over 5 V. Part 2. They want us to now find the braking distance when the speed is reduced by 40%. Now, let's write an equation in terms of the initial speed and braking distance first. So I know that the braking distance, okay, I'm going to let the braking distance be d. Okay, and I know that d is directly proportional to the square of its speed. So d can be written as d equals to kv squared where k is a constant. And then I will substitute in the values uh, for speed and braking distance. So the braking distance is 20 meters. The speed is v. This is my equation 1. After the speed has been reduced by 40%, we will now use the new speed and form a second equation. So d is now k 3 over 5 v squared. This is for the new speed and braking distance. Simplifying this expression, I will get 9 over 25 k v squared. And from equation 1, I know that k v squared is actually equals to 20. So I will substitute this into the current equation to give me my answer 7.2 meters. So the new breaking the distance is now 7.2 meters. Let's go on to part 3. Part 3 wants us to find the percentage decrease in the braking distance. So I'll make use of my formula. The percentage decrease is the decrease over the original times 100%. This will give us 20 minus 7.2 over the original 20 meters times 100%, giving us the answer of 64%. For part B, they want us to sketch the graph that represents the braking distance with respect to the speed of the car. Now, I know that the formula is d equals to kv squared, where k is a constant. So if I'm drawing a graph of d against v, I am essentially plotting a quadratic curve. So I see the parallel of drawing curve for y equals to ax square. In this case, I will have my curve pass through the point of origin because when v is equal to 0, d will be also equal to 0. And then it will be like this d equals to kv squared. 